Hi guys, welcome back to Gina C Creates. Today I'm going to share with you my daughter's sixth birthday party of Barbie. I'm going to show you how to create this Barbie box prop along with a shaker cake topper. And I'm going to show you how I made her bestie goodie bags that look like little Barbie boxes. I include the free SVG for the thank you label and the bestie labels. You can find these supplies at the Dollar Tree. I'm using the pink and blue gift bags along with the small clear treat bags. I also found this little box there as well, which is the perfect size to trace on front of the small gift bags. And I'm just using a highlighter to mark my lines. And then I'm gonna stuff it with a piece of cardboard. Then I'm just gonna use my box cutter and ruler so I can cut out the shape that I just traced onto the front of my gift bag. And this will be the little window for the goodie bag to look like a Barbie box. And instead of the word Barbie, I decided to use the word bestie so my daughter can give these out to her friends. And then instead of Mattel, I made it into a thank you label star. So I just used my SVG in Design Space and turned it into a print and cut, printed out the labels, and then just glued them onto the front of the bag. And then I'm using the clear goodie bags to add inside so I can fill them up and it can hold the candy inside. Next, we are gonna make this shaker cake topper. I also provide the free SVG on my blog and I show you how to personalize it in designs. So make sure you guys check that out as well. I'm gonna be using different colors of pink cardstock, glitter cardstock, and I'm using some acetate and I'm gonna be using some foam tape to assemble this. I'm using the squares and the micro foam dots along with some craft glue. So the back layer is gonna have three layers and I'm just doing it from the biggest to the smallest going up, placing the foam squares on the back. And then after that, I'm going to the smaller arches and I'm just using craft glue to apply the striped pink pattern all over the white layer. And then on the back of the small arch, we can use foam squares again, and we are gonna attach it onto the top of the three back layers. And then we can layer our palm trees with some glue for the sand. And then I'm using the small micro foam dots on the back of the palm trees since they're pretty skinny. And then I am going to put glue so I can stick it right onto the small arch. And I cut out my daughter's name in cardstock and I left it on the mat and I used transfer tape to pick it up and I thought it was pretty cool so I don't have to lay it out letter by letter using my craft glue. And you're going to want to let the glue dry before you pull off the transfer tape. So I'm moving on to my little Barbie box and I'm going to place the word birthday onto the front that I cut out of vinyl. Then I'm going to flip this piece over and I'm going to add the acetate on the back of this. So I'm just going to apply craft glue around the frame and I'm going to let this dry as well. Then I'm going to go back to my little banner and I'm going to pull off the transfer tape now that the craft glue has dried. And then I'm going to place some foam squares on the back of this to attach it to the front of my cake topper. And so now we're going to put the shaker together and I'm just going to glue the six right in the middle of the Barbie box and then I am going to line the box with some foam tape and just make sure your foam tape is thin enough so it doesn't show on the front of the shaker. Once you line it all the way around make sure there's not any gaps. We are going to fill our shaker with some glitter of your choice. I'm just using these little holographic starbursts that I have and then I also found some discs that are from the Dollar Tree as well. They come in different colors and I'm just adding light pink and hot pink. And then I'm going to place the cover on of the box. And if you have any foam tape showing, you could just cut it off with some scissors. And then I'm going to stick on the happy label and then the TH for the six. So this cake topper can read happy sixth birthday, Audrey. And then I'm just using some craft glue on the corner of the box to attach it to the front of the cake topper. And then I'm just using a popsicle stick with some craft glue to stick it in between the layers and let that dry. And now you have a cute little Barbie shaker cake topper. 
You can also add in the birthday girl's picture or Barbie picture. It's up to you. Now for the child size Barbie box. I'm using this big piece of cardboard that I saved from my TV packaging. It is 52 inches tall by 30 inches wide. And then I also have a 30 by 40 foam board along with two 20 by 30 foam boards. And then I'm recycling these two arches from a previous party and I just wrap them in the Dollar Tree wrapping paper. And then I used my Cricut to cut out the Barbie logo. I measured it to make sure it will fit on the box proportionally. I made the Mattel logo and then the number six for her age. And then I just placed my Barbie logo at the bottom of my front frame. And I traced an offset around the letters so I know where to cut my box. Then I just removed my letters and I finished tracing out the rest of the frame. And then I used a box cutter to cut it out. And then I saved the small details for last so I could take my time and make sure I get the shape in there. And it'll probably be better with some foam board since this cardboard was really thick. And then next I put on the sides, I just cut my 30 by 40 foam board in half and I use some duct tape to tape it onto my sides. And then I use my smaller 20 by 30 foam board to finish the top half and the top flap. And I wanted to use the duct tape to tape it together so I can easily fold it and store it away. Then I wrapped each side with pink wrapping paper separately so it can still fold. And then I did the front of the box last with some more pink wrapping paper and then I just stuck on my packaging labels to the front of the box. And I also added some more decoration to my arches in the back. I will leave a link to the Barbie font as well so you could type out your birthday girl's name. I hope you enjoyed my daughter's sixth birthday party of Barbie and we will see you next time at Genesee Creates.